Good morning. Good morning. So we are still travelling south on the Great Northern Highway. We left Port Hedland this morning. And uh, we half past eight. <laughs> half past eight. And we'll be getting into Port Samson. Or oh, to a point Samson, I'm not sure. Anyway, in about 30 minutes time. Oh, sorry, Point Samson. Point Samson, there you My go. My mistake. Um, and then from there on to Caratha. So we'll try and show you as much as we can of this region in this uh, episode. Uh, we hope you enjoy it and we'll see you soon. See you soon. Hi. Hi. Where are we, Jill? Point Samson. Point Samson. And actually at the moment we're at Honeymoon Cove. Which is a nice little bay just around the corner from the from caravan, the caravan park. park. It's actually a nice caravan park, um, but the town of Point Samson is quite small. But it has one good thing going for it. What's that, Jill? A tavern. A, ta a tavern. And they, uh, and they like dogs. Yeah. And they do food. And they do happy hour. And a, and a cocktail hour. But we've missed cocktail hour today, thankfully. I'm not having another cocktail. Anyhow, the good thing is, as you can tell by the fact that we're actually out and about, it's a bit cooler now. Hooray! <laughs> it's 30 degrees today, as opposed to 39 degrees, which is basically the average temperature that we've had to put up with for the last three weeks. And the sun, and the sitting here is cool, yeah, it's nice here. and refreshing. Yeah, with, with the beach in the background. So this bay here, this bay, uh, and all the way around Point Sampson, uh, is renowned for whales and dolphins. And in fact... We saw some whales this morning. Yeah. They were a bit far out. So I've got the drone out, and I've got lots and lots of footage to show you of the sea with no whales or no dolphins. <laughs> it's like fishing. <laughs> I'll try again tomorrow. <laughs> The cats come earlier. We'll have to come earlier and try again tomorrow. All right, we're going to enjoy this uh, cooler afternoon. Go for a drink, no doubt. And we'll catch you later. Bye. We've just left Cove Caravan Park. Very nice park, close to the beach, the beaches that they are here. It's cooling down a bit now, don't you agree? Well, <laughs> cooling down yesterday was a little bit cooler, but it's forecast to be 35 again today, so I'm not, oh. I'm not sure. Anyhow, we're on our way to Caratha now. We're actually on our way this morning to an auto electrician's called Jolly Auto Electricians because uh, about two weeks ago the Red Arc inverter in the caravan failed, gave Fell me fault signals. <laughs> so we contacted Red Arc and they're sending a replacement out under warranty. And wouldn't you believe it, we just tested the Red Arc inverter a few days ago and guess what, it's working now. <laughs> so a good old intermittent fault. So we'll see how we go, we'll see whether the guy wants to replace it or just see See how it goes on its own now. No. But anyhow, four days in Caratha, so we're looking forward to that. Yeah, we're looking forward to Caratha. There's lots of things to do. See you soon.
were at Dampier Peninsula or Dampier, I don't know, is it Dampier Peninsula? Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, we're here we're and Dampier. it's all about the red dog. The red dog. Which is a film about a dog, which is a true story, where it tries to look for his owner when he doesn't return. Most of our Australian friends will have seen the film Red Dog. Most of you in England won't have done it. you wonder what the hell we're we talking about. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's it. That's the statue of the Red Dog, which apparently wandered all around the Pilbara region and the Dampier region looking for its owner. Anyway, as Jill says, this is the Dampier Peninsula. Yeah, and this is where they get the salt. Yeah, it's really a salt mine. <clears throat> salt mine. Is this real? Rio Tinto. Tinto, yeah. who's the owner. Yeah. Who'd have thought that salt would be such big business? Anyhow, it's still a big process. Mercifully, it's not roasting hot. We've got a nice cool breeze and it's about 30 degrees. So it's a lot more pleasant today. Hope it stays like this for a while. Catch you later. Bye. Good morning. So we are here in Onslow. We left Caratha three days ago. Three days ago, Caratha and Dampier. And uh, as you as you'll see from this footage, the journey down was actually quite spectacular through the through the desert region. You really enjoyed that drive, didn't you? Yeah. Impressive scenery, wasn't it? We really loved Caratha. We thought it well. Loved might be a strong expression, but we really liked Carrara. It was a really nice, clean town. Clean. Oh, it was ever so tidy, and there were green grass. <laughs> <laughs> well, well um, manicured plants. Dampier was lovely. We went to Dampier a few times uh, to the beaches, as you can see. Uh, we had a great time actually on the beaches. We went back a couple of times there. And went to see the red dog. Went to see the red dog statue, and uh, went to see the mining operations and the gas field operations. So yeah, it was really interesting. Mm. Very interesting place. Which probably can't be said for Onslow. <laughs> so Onslow is a very, very small, sleepy little town. Um, Population's about 800. 800, yeah, yeah. The and probably, <laughs> there's probably about 400 people in the caravan park at the moment. It's, uh, it's uh, jam-packed in like sardines. There's not much here really. There's a beachfront, but it's not it's particularly not properly nice. Not a really nice beach. It's not an interesting beach. Even Giz and Ali don't want to go on it, I don't think. <laughs> the, the good thing is that uh, there has been a cooler breeze. So it's a little bit cooler and we were able to go out for a walk from such a Anyhow, we'll try and show you a little bit of Onslow. There's not really much to see. 
Uh, and then tomorrow morning we leave for Exmouth. Um, and we've got 10 years in Exmouth. I think that'll be a bit bigger place. A bit what? Bigger township. Bigger township. All right. We'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, and the coffee, by the way, I made that. That's a nine out of 10. Not the best coffee. <laughs> Anyhow, good morning. Good morning. So where are we, Jill? Exmouth. Exmouth. We're at Mingaloo Caravan Park. It's a bit, Exmouth is a bit smaller than we expected, isn't it? Yeah, but it's still a lovely place. Better than Broome, you would say. I think most places will be better than Broome. Oh, she didn't like Broome. <laughs> Sorry, Broome, but she didn't like Broome. Anyhow, right, we've been at Exmouth a few days now at this caravan park. There are only two caravan parks in Exmouth, and they're both very big and they're both very busy, and this is one of them. So we've already been exploring on the Ningaloo Peninsula. Coastline, yeah. yeah. We've been to the National Park, we've been up to some of the beaches, I'm sure we'll go to them again. And we also went to Shot Hole Canyon uh, in the uh, Cape Range National Park, so I've got some footage from that to show you. But we're here for another few days, the weather, yeah, it's a long thankfully, here. Yeah, the weather thankfully has got a little bit cooler, so it's now only 30 degrees as opposed to 36 degrees. <laughs> but we have got power, so we can have the aircon on. Yeah, and we've now got our red arc inverter fixed. I'll show you a little bit of footage of that. Um, and yeah, <laughs> we're all good to go for the next leg of the journey, which is from here to Bulara Station. How far is that? Well, it's only 90 kilometres from here. Short trip. Short trip. And then from Ballara Station, we're off to the beach, camping on the beach, which Jill's looking forward to immensely. No, I've only just got the red sand out. <laughs> red dirt out of my claws. All right, so Colin and Bridget today have gone off on a full day boat trip, snorkeling off the Ningaloo Reef. So if the GoPro hasn't failed, and if the drone hasn't failed, we might get we some might footage get some to show footage. you. So I hope you manage to get some from <laughs> We'll catch you later. Bye.
So here's something you don't see much up in the north of Australia, either in the west or in the Northern Territory, uh, an EV charging point. And as you can see, there's nobody here. In all our travels from Darwin down to here, Exmouth, we've seen one EV, a Tesla, one. We've seen lots of diesel cars, but one EV. Maybe this is the way of the future, who knows? Good morning. So, we've finally got some cool weather here in Exmouth. And a bit of rain last night. Yeah. It rained, it's the first rain we've seen since Alice Springs in May. <laughs> it's only rained about 0.1 millimetres, but at least it was genuine rain. But we were in bed. We were in bed. <laughs> so we've done our bit exploring the Pilbara coastal towns. Uh, it's been bloody hot most of the time, but it has cooled down as we've come further south, which is what we expected. And we leave Exmouth tomorrow. It was a lot smaller than we thought it would be. Well, I thought it would be. Um, apparently it's quite an expensive place to live. The high demand for real estate. And the bloody school holidays in Western We've Australia clashed. have begun today and there's no more spaces <laughs> anywhere, so we have to leave. We've clashed. <laughs> <laughs> so we're off to Ballara Station. Uh, and then from Ballara Station, we're going to camp on the beach at uh, 14 Mile Beach and one other place whose name I can't pronounce. I think it's Bunja Bunja, Bunjura, Bunjura Caravan Park, Bunjura Beach. We'll have to put it up. And then from there <laughs> to Monkey Mia. So, yeah, um, we're looking forward to that. Now, sadly, I didn't get any photos or video footage of whales. We saw lots of them in the sea, but. I was absolutely hopeless of getting them on the drone for you. So we were very far out, we could only see the spoutings. Yeah. All right, we'll see you soon, and don't forget... To like and subscribe. But more importantly, please comment. Comment. Yeah. See you soon. Bye.